First question is from Mitch Pappas. How would you help someone who loves to train in the gym six times per week move to a three times per week routine? You can, okay, so I'm assuming you're talking about like a full body workout or three days a week is when you lift kind of hard and heavy. That doesn't mean you can't go to the gym on the other days. It just means do other stuff. So you can go to the gym and you can work on a light pump. You can work on range of motion, Mm -hmm. mobility. In fact, some of the best results I ever got with myself and with clients were when I trained people and they worked out with me with the hard workouts two or three days a week. But then they also went to the gym on their own and just kind of touched areas of their body, uh, you know, with with lighter exercise, isolation movements, getting a squeeze, getting a burn, mm-hmm. um, or again, doing other stuff like yoga, mobility. Like this is a this is great to stay active um, all the time. You, what you don't want to do necessarily, very few people that can do this, is lift hard and heavy six days a week. There, some people can do this, but it's pretty rare that most that anybody can do this long term and not start suffering consequences. Well, it's not sustainable. And even if you can do it, doesn't mean you should do it either. Keep that in mind. So just because somebody you know can train six days a week and thinks there's still a better uh, you know approach to getting like you want to scale to that. You mm-hmm. still would start off two or three times, then work to four, then work to five, then work to six. If you're actually doing like a, a serious uh, lift six days a week, I definitely wouldn't go there right away. Sometimes I feel like this is our fault, right? When we get questions like this because we talk so much about. Uh, the benefits of just training two to three times a week, full body, and that's mm-hmm. all you need. And a lot of people overtrain, and we've been, we've kind of poo pooed the no days off shit, all that stuff. So sometimes I feel like we get questions like this because we've promoted that message so much. But if you <clears throat> if you've been listening to the podcast uh, since the beginning, um, I used to talk a lot about being the out of us, the guy who was in the gym seven days a week, especially mm-hmm. during competing times, and. I loved that, and I liked the idea of every day because it was this, uh, I knew that was my time, right? This is my time that I go and train. It's just you change it and you modify it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't go to the gym seven days a week and like crush it. I maybe crush it three days out of the week, and then the other three or four days is either, like you said, Sal, like for me, a lot of times it was abs and calves, like touching up on muscle groups that I was trying to bring up or work on or doing mobility stuff, like, or range of motion, body weight type things, like, you know, or just going there and doing like a a nice long walk for an hour, like sometimes it looked like that, Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I, I am. <clears throat> I'm not against somebody going to the gym. In fact, I, I see a lot of value in that. Like, if you're a person, like I do better that way, right? If I just, if I have a routine or a, a time in my day, I'm consistent with every single day. Mm-hmm. I'm more likely to stick to it versus if I say, oh, I only got to get to the gym three days this week, oh, and whatever three days works, because then it gets really easy. To be like, oh, you know what? I'm busy today. Mm-hmm. I'll do it tomorrow. Like, I'll get, I'll get tomorrow. Oh, then tomorrow comes. It's like it's okay. I still got Friday and Saturday. I can get one day in. So. So I get when uh, when people want to be in there six, seven days a week, nothing wrong with that. Just modify your intensity. Yeah, the misconception is that the days in between, you're not doing anything. Like you're just like avoiding exercise, you're avoiding movement, uh, you're quote unquote resting the, you know, the whole day uh, besides going to work. No, that's not the case. Like, uh, you know, to, to fully recover, you know, you need that blood flow. You need that, uh, you know, uh, that, that signal to, to stay alive. And so just by just lowering the intensity or, you know, focusing on a different, um, uh, you know, aspects of, of training is, is, you know, we encourage that. It's just like the, the three day a week thing is something that we're kind of, you know, passionate about because doing full body workouts, you know, that, that allows you to then recover and then come back in with adequate amount of energy to, you know, to do a good job in your next workout. 